State lawmakers are debating a bill that would legalize recreational marijuana to anyone over 21. Many employers have a zero tolerance policy, though, when it comes to drugs. So, how will the law impact the workplace? News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran spoke with a labor and HR advocate and has the answers. When it comes to the workplace, recreational marijuana would be treated like alcohol under the law in New York. Frank Kerbin is a human resources consultant. He explains the change. So it would be illegal to take an adverse employment action, refusing to hire, to terminate, uh, to discipline someone for their legal outside use of cannabis. It's never been okay to be impaired at work. You know, under alcohol or anything else. Even with the state law, marijuana is still illegal at the federal level. So zero tolerance would still apply in some instances where positions are governed federally. So Department of Transportation positions, uh, certain grants by the federal government require a drug-free workplace. There's a drug-free workplace act, in fact, that requires zero tolerance for the presence of cannabis in the workplace. Kerbin says cannabis differs from alcohol because there is not a way to test to see how much of it is in your system. We all understand breathalyzers and .08 and what alcohol does and those levels of impairment. We don't necessarily have that technology yet. There's not a breathalyzer for, for the presence of these THC. Uh, impairment inducing components of, of cannabis. He said employers could take action if they suspected someone was under the influence at work. For example, if they had slurred speech or their coordination was off, just like with alcohol. His advice for companies is to start thinking about what their drug policy is going to be. He also says both employers and employees should stay on top of effective dates. Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9. Iris, thank you. And it is estimated it could take up to two years for legal sales to begin in New York State.